IT3T, which has gotten to be really popular, is has two tens with a 1.4 inch exit. It has all the same electronics, built-in delays, uh, built-in multiband compression, and um, what it uh, what it affords is maybe a little bit more mid-band punch. And it's gotten to be really popular as a mobile system for, uh, like I said, for that fellowship hall. Uh, we use them uh, for a lot of events where we're using a high-end artist uh, and they want a really slick sightline. So they want to see they want to see everybody on stage and they don't want a big stack of speakers that would sit there nece necessarily. And so it gives you that opportunity to have a nice sight lines, high power, high fidelity. So we've used them when we're doing like small arts. We did a DNCE and train, and th these were the boxes that we used when we were doing those, those small radio events. And uh, artists love them. They love the way they sound. Uh, that they, they love the sight lines. The guys that run the events love the sight lines. And the same thing, you know, the same thing applies to a house of worship as it would for a, for a performance space like this. Um, you know, where the focus it doesn't look at the big speaker system as much as it looks at the artist and the performance. Yeah. Okay. So the TSP section or the the processing section on the engineers is really one of its uh, high points. Um, the nice thing is, is that if you're taking a system out, it has built-in delays and the multiband. And in it, um, if you need more power, you're able to flip the boxes over. Because so that's what we've done here. So we have two IG two Ts. They're flipped over and they're put together with a little clip. And the little clip, when when put together, it holds these two boxes in place. Still have a pole mount underneath, so you can set it on top of a subwoofer. But what it, what it does is it tells the, the boxes that, hey, I've got another box on top of me and I'm going to, now I'm a different system. And so now the horns act differently and now you've got a system that you're allowed to program. And when you program it in, it'll say, hey, you've got a new system. What do you want to do? I've got two speakers. And now what I want to do is I want to tilt it down a little bit and it'll give you a tilt angle. If it's a, if it's in the back part of the room, you could set, you could set the delay on it without having setting anything else. And if you, it allows you to, when when in this mode, decide, hey, I want to go five or ten percent down, or I need to hit that balcony area, or that's to say you've got bleachers and you want to throw it up on top of the bleachers. It allows the system to be extremely flexible, and you do it all with electronics. So it's a pretty powerful rig. So the DB Technologies IG4T, IG3T were the two options that we used in this. Now we have multiple pairings. So we have, uh, this is using the, the KS10, which is a, a thousand watt, high power, high output, uh, single 18. We have a uh, one that goes up even louder, which is the 1518, which is 1500 watt, uh, 136 DB box. Um, so they pair really well together. Um, uh, if you have a bigger system, then you go with the bigger subwoofer. We make an S18, uh, S sub 18, and a sub 15, which are also pair really well with these. So it just depends. The more sub, the better for some. And so uh, you have graduating steps of subwoofer. Um, uh, in the IG40, it's uh, four drivers, four six and a halfs with a two with a 1.4 inch compressor driver, which means it's a nice big loud compression driver